Hello there, my name is Shikin and welcome back to Ras Aquaculture. To all of our 23,000 subscribers, a big thank you for following our aquaculture journey. We have started the crab farming business in 2016 and this year 2021 will be our fifth year of operation. When we started our crab farming operation, we had no clue about the maintenance costs required as there were no other known projects that have lasted for more than 3 years. In this video, we will be highlighting the major maintenance conducted over 5 years span. Thank you for sticking around. As you might already know, moving equipment like farm will be the most vulnerable to maintenance due to frequent wear and tear. Our farms also suffer from the same wear and tear too. In our system, we utilize two sets of pumps. The first one to pump the water back into the crab houses and the second is for the circulating water through the sand filter and biofilter. This pump have been operating for 24 hours 7 days for the past 5 years. The major maintenance on this pump is only on their bearing. The bearing requires maintenance every 9 to 12 months of operation. Their lifespan of the bearing is hugely dependent on the quality of bearing and the proper assembly on the bearing. Typical bearing costs about 6 to 8 USD per bearing and requires about 2 to 3 hours to change out. We were operating the system without a backup pump for the first 3 years and only got a spare pump last year. The second item that undergoes major wear and tear is the crab boxes themselves. The lids are open and closed up to 3 to 4 times a day as the crab needs to be fed and inspected. This subject the hinge to 7,300 opening and closing for the past 5 years. While the boxes have claimed to have a 10 year lifespan, it is important to know that parts like the hinge will have a variable lifespan depending on the type of operation. For example, in the soft shell crab operation, where the crab have to be inspected 6 to 8 times a day, the lifespan of the hinge will reduce by 50% due to the frequent opening and closing of the boxes. Nevertheless, up to our 5 years of operation, we only had to replace about 15% of our lid. The common weak points include the hinge and ribs. While the damage on hinge is due to operation, the ribs are normally damaged by aggressive crack. It is also important to note that cracking of the boxes can also occur if they are dropped on the floor. This issue is mainly due to the handling of the operators and we have only about 0.5% of our boxes damaged in this manner. Another major item for maintenance is the UV system used to disinfect the water in circulation. The UV light usually consists of the UV bulb and the choke that will require replacement from time to time. The typical UV bulb has an operational lifespan of 10,000 hours and exceeding it will result in a drop in efficiency. Do consult your manufacturer of the lifespan of the bulb and conduct replacement if necessary. On the other hand, the choke is a piece of electronic that regulates the current and require replacing after 15 to 24 months. Typical chokes cost up to 5 to 8 USD and are available in your regular store. Lastly, is the sand filter and the protein skimmer. They are both used for solid removal in the crab farming system. 
The parts in the sand filter that require maintenance are items like O-ring and gasket. It is particularly true for the gasket replacement in the 6-way valve, which require changing out every 24 months. Always keep a spare gasket and replace it if you start to see water leaking out from the backwash line. For the protein schema, the only part prone to maintenance is the submersible pump. More than often, it might be more economical to replace the pump than to attempt to repair it. So, these are the items that have been replaced or fixed over our 5-year operational timeline. We hope that you have a better understanding of the maintenance cost of the Minecraft vertical system. We hope you have enjoyed this video and feel free to download our free ebook on Minecraft farming to learn more about the RAS technology. You can find the ebook link in the description. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.